everyone, thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. My name is Bran with Budget with Bran. Today we are going to be doing our March monthly budget. Um, I'm really excited for this month because it is my birthday month. Um, I do turn 26 this year. So yeah, so today let's go ahead and get started. Um, now, like I did it with my last budget, I'm going to put everything on this side. Hopefully everything fits. And then I'm gonna put what I budget and then what I actually, you know, planned or spent for the month. The paychecks that I'm considering for my March check, they are gonna be March 13th and March 27th. So my monthly check-ins when I do like my February 2020 check-in or budget results are gonna have a little bit of the next month bleeding into it, but that's just, I consider March's budget to be the paychecks that I actually get in March. That's kind of how I budget my expenses. Okay, so as far as, and I'm sorry if it focuses on the tip of my pen, like I said, I don't wanna get it changed. You know what, what I think I'm gonna do is move the paper over here so I can write this way, and hopefully that'll prevent it from auto-focusing on the tip of my pen. I will be budgeting, $4,630. If I have any sort of other income, I'll just include it in the total balance when I do my check-in for the month. Um, and I'll also let you guys know, you know, if we do receive any income, what that income's actually coming from. So let's go ahead and start off with our fixed expenses. So we do have rent. I feel like my expenses are the same every month. You guys can probably just do my budget for me. And that is going to be $1,174. Our internet bill, that is going to be $85. I'm really trying to line up all my, the way that I write all my numbers, because sometimes I tend to like have it slant this way and then I'm editing and I'm like, oh, that's so annoying. Our community card, and that is going to be $68. Our insurance, and this is going to be for our renter's insurance as well as my car insurance. And I'm budgeting $170 for that. My payoff loan, and we are budgeting $268. Oh my gosh, I hope everything fits. If it, everything doesn't fit, I'm going to be so sad. Our phone bill. So um, in January, I was charged with an upgrade fee. I don't know if I'm gonna be charged with my husband for the upgrade fee, so just to be safe, I'm gonna budget $205, and then hopefully once both the upgrade fees are paid for, my bill will actually go back down to $160. That's normally what we pay. Embrace is gonna be $59. My car, $370. I mentioned that once my car payment comes out this month um, for February, I will officially be under $8,000, and that's just that's just so crazy to me. My Disney, now once we go ahead and get the community paid off, which we're actually gonna be paying off, hopefully by the end of this week, um, we're gonna be rolling over this $68 to my Disney, so that will be our snowball plus whatever extra we can put towards debt. And then we have my Freedom which is gonna be, I always budget $205, because you never know. All right, so we do have groceries. These are all gonna be my variable expenses. And I am budgeting $480. Our electricity, now it's gonna start getting hot, so hopefully with all the money that we're putting towards electricity, I'm hoping I don't have to raise this by 10 to $15, but we get in the triple digits over here and it just gets really crazy. So we'll see what happens. My Chipotle is going to be uh, $90. I know that's a lot of money, but I mean, we really do go there a lot. And this is for the whole month, so we're splitting it up 45 per check. We do have spending which will be $120. Uh, my dog food. We probably won't have to get my dog groomed for maybe another month or two, so that's good. That'll give us some money to save. Our gas, we are gonna be budgeting $200. Pest control is gonna be $45. And then my dad's insurance. When you guys got married, if all my married people out there, was it weird to call your in-laws mom or dad? 
I feel like it's kind of weird, but I'm doing it anyways. <laughs> Um, but let me know if you guys also thought it was a little bit of an adjustment or if you just call them by their name. Okay, so these are all the expenses that I normally pay month to month. These will never deviate. I always pay um, these particular bills no matter what. I'm going to go ahead and include some of the payments that we have for March that may not be something that is considered consistent or something that we do pay every month. So one of them is going to be my birthday and I'm going to budget $100. We do have beauty and that is going to be $65. We do have my husband's protein. We need to stock up on protein for him. And we normally buy protein from what I'm seeing from the trends about every other month or every couple of months. Um, so that's just something that we have to include in our budget and it's healthy for him, for my husband. So I always make sure that that's not something that we're skimping out on. All right, and then we have our debt snowball. So this is all the amounts that we plan on paying towards debt. And for the month of March, it looks like we are planning $600. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put unbudgeted right here which is gonna be zero dollars. And then whatever is left over after that is I'm gonna put in our miscellaneous envelope. This will help us just keep a small fund in case anything happens. I know that we do have our emergency fund, but also if we're out and about and I spend a little bit more on groceries or I forgot that we needed to get bath tissue, that's pretty much what is going to be going towards our miscellaneous. I really want to try to do a zero-based budget. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is take the $4,630 and I'm going to subtract all of these expenses. And then whatever I have left remaining, I'm going to put in our miscellaneous. So I'll be right back. Okay, so just to be real with you guys, um, we are going to be ending up with negative $34.10. So I'm just going to put that here, negative $34.10. That's what's going to be putting into our miscellaneous fund. I know that we have about $80 in the bank right now that we're not going to be using. So what I'm going to do is have that roll over into my March bills. So what's great is I know I have a cushion in my checking account right now. And then I also know that on most of these, we don't really don't spend that much money. Um, so we'll be able to hit it. My goal is to pay $600 though. So I just want to let you know that sometimes your numbers don't add up. But if you do have a backup plan, you can use that backup plan to make sure that you're hitting all your financial goals. If for any reason I didn't have any sort of cushion in my checking account per se, I would probably take away my birthday because I really don't need money. Um, I'd also lower my debt snowball probably to 550 in order to supplement the negative that we're going to be going into. Okay, so I went ahead and purchased this really cute March monthly spread from Planner Kate. That's where I got my other two monthly spreads as well. I just think her spreads are so cute and kind of go with the colors that I have for my, um, my expense trackers that I do get from Romina Rosa. So these are the expense trackers that I do purchase from Marino's Rocha Shop. I normally just get these with my spending money. If I have overtime, I'll purchase, but they're not necessarily a necessity. You don't need things like this to budget. I just personally like it because I think it's cute and I feel like if you have something cute and you're able to afford it, it, it kind of makes it more fun for you to budget and look into your budget more than if you were to just write it down on a piece of paper. But like I said, you don't need to purchase these items. I'll go ahead and link Planner Kate down below as well as Romina Rosa if you guys do want to check out their shops. But what I'm going to go ahead and do is lay down these stickers. I'm going to speed it up for you guys. Um, so yeah, I'll be right back. So I went ahead and finished laying down all my stickers. The next thing that I am gonna do is go ahead and uh, put down my payday. So we are gonna be getting paid on the 13th. Sorry, it was a little crooked. So we are gonna be getting paid on the 13th. 
And then we also are going to be getting paid on the 27th. Okay, so those are the paydays for the month. Okay, so the first expense that we do have is going to be rent and internet. And those are both due on the first of the month. So I'm going to go ahead and lay those down. There's one. And then it looks like our community uh, card will go ahead and be due on the 13th, which is also payday. My renter's insurance and auto insurance will be due on the 5th. Our payoff loan will be due on the 19th. My phone bill will be due on the 21st. Our embrace payment will be due on the 24th. My car payment is due on the 27th. Our Disney is due on the 28th. And then my Freedom is due on the 9th. All right, so there you have it, guys. Those are all of our expenses for the month of March. Again, thank you guys so much for watching um, and you know supporting my channel. We, meaning my husband and I, both love to read all your guys' comments. My husband's actually really surprised how supportive my little family here is. You know, sometimes with YouTube, there are people that are very opinionated, um, but he really loves how supportive you guys are and just how involved you guys are with our journey so thank you guys so much for that again if you guys have any sort of debt payoff shout outs that you guys want me to mention please email budgetwithbram at gmail.com and then also if you guys haven't subscribed already please subscribe to my channel I'll also leave a like on my video I will see you guys in a couple days bye